me, I am anonymous commentator with my broadcasting partner, El Felicio, and we bring you episode three of FAWSWE. And speaking of SWE, we are opening up with the tag team of the century, the Street Profits. <laughs> These two done for the SWE Tag Team Championship beginning of this year at Royal Rumble. But can they step up to the brand new FAW Tag Team Champions, Nacho and Escaleto? Hell yeah! And as you can see, my broadcasting partner is more than just excited to see these two men here once again in an FAW arena. We are blessed to see more action from these two Eagle Warriors. Nacho tried to hit something off the ropes there, but Bob Pissford putting the kicks to work. And because the big hits are going he low, missed. he missed indeed, but there's the double foot stop. Nacho calls that the shoot. But here comes Angelo Dawkins coming up to Nacho, but Nacho flips him off What's over the rope. And there's Escaleta with the Haluba kick, taking down Angelo Dawkins down to the floor. What tag team action this has been so far, but now Nacho hyping up Escaleta for something. Pointing to the people. These are the people they fight for. You know, below the orphans over there in Oaxaca City, Mexico. But now, Nacho. Oh, this looks familiar. Back at Birthday Bash. They tried to hit this on Mustache Mountain. But Escaleta was too pansy. Can he do it this time? He's hyped up. He's going for it. He's going for it. Here he comes in, Dave. But there. No, Passport with the super kick. Takes down Escaleta. Here comes Nacho from behind. Oh, the spinning heel kick. But now, oh, it's a curry. The head of Nacho. Nacho is stunned. The Eagle Warrior has been compromised. Here it Here's comes. Montez Ford with the springboard. Springboard cross body onto Nacho. Mexico's hero is in jeopardy here. As Montez Ford hits the clothesline, sends Nacho back into the outside. And now Escaleta, being a good partner as he is, checking on Nacho. But I don't think he has time for that. He needs to watch out for Montez Ford as he takes flight. Oh my God! want the smoke and that just might be what Montez Ford is looking to give all of them here tonight as he's looking to finish off Nacho with the strong punch oh he tried to change his direction in midair I think that's what cost him there he missed completely and now Nacho has an opportunity wait no no oh that's a power bomb from Montez Ford super kick right to the lips Nacho thought he had it done but here comes Montez Ford with the blow Then Montez Ford, now I got it right. Or up to that green, but not for long as Angelo Dawkins speared the shit out of Montez Ford. Malfunction at the junction indeed as Nacho hit the rough rider down on the neck of Angelo Dawkins. And now Dawkins is feeling the power of the Eagle as he takes flight. Nacho doesn't give a shit. Excuse me, Lord, for, for cussing in your presence. Escaleto off the ropes. Oh my God! Yes. There's a Luba kick right to the side of the head. Springboard cutter, and I think Montez Ford is out cold. And now Nacho, look at the hit. Something from the top rope. Escaleto punches Whoa. Montez Ford into the inside out clothesline from the top, and it could be over. He did it, all. it is, and Nacho has claimed another victory. For the Eagle Warriors and the Orphans in Oaxaca City, Mexico. Wow, wait, what? what? What the hell? Is that Cody Rhodes? What on earth is he doing here? No doubt to spoil all the fun. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. You beat a couple jobbers. 
Now get out of my ring. I got something to say. Oh, Escaletto, he didn't really take kindly to that, but Nacho telling him to turn the other cheek as they leave the arena. Yeah, boo. Go ahead. But you know who really deserves to get booed? Paul Heyman! I break my damn back for this business, proving day in and day out why SWE is the only fed that matters. Also, I can get thrown into the lion's den at Christmas chaos. A death match with Nick Gage. Why? I should be main eventing for the SWE Championship right now. And you people, you absolute inbreds, are eating this shit up, aren't you? You can't wait for Nick to carve my ass up, can you? It's safe to say they can't. Me neither can I. Well, that's too damn bad. Because at Christmas Chaos, I'm going to hit each and every one of you with a badass reality check. Deathmatch wrestling isn't cool anymore. It's an industry where fat slobs with no talent can make something out of their pathetic basement dwelling lives for the entertainment of even sadder schmucks who buy those tickets. I.e. you sheeple! But I like the much wrestling. So Nick, this one's for you, buddy. Go on and bring your light tubes. Bring your precious pizza cutter. Bring whatever you want. Because the fact is, you can't kill me, Gage. I'm more than just royalty now. I'm immortal! Wow. Uh, get any bigger? And at Christmas chaos, I will make sure that Deathmatch Wrestling dies with Could it be? There's absolutely no way. It's the one and only Universal Champion of FAW, Ricochet. Ever since he beat Alex the Black at Winter Slam, now he's here for the Cody, and I bet Cody remembers that he's the champion now, especially with the United States Championship on his shoulder. What the fuck? You gotta be fucking me. Oh my god, he's here! He's here! It's John fucking... This is fucking crazy! There is absolutely no way I am seeing what I'm seeing in front of my eyes here! The SWE champion, John Moxley, FAW Universal Champion, Ricochet, face to face, nose to nose, in the middle of our ring! What could this possibly mean? What is John Moxley doing here? Wait, wait, why is he staring at Oh, wait, he's staring at the Universal Championship. What is he? What, what is this? Oh, oh my shit. God. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Without a word, these two legends of the game have laid out the challenge for each other's crowns. This shit's going to be crazy. Hey, boss. Just wanted oh, to stop shit. by. Fucking nothing, man. Hey, you ever heard of knocking? It's my house. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Well, uh, I just wanted to stop by and let you know that I'm going to be heading out to the field for Benight Shift now. Benjamin's asleep, so you shouldn't have any issue with that. There's leftover meatloaf in the fridge, if you're hungry, and my number's on the calendar. In case you need me. I'm not a fucking horny teenager, boss man. Keyword being teenager. The point is, I don't need you to talk to me like you're my mom. Just go. Man. Don't do anything stupid. 
like getting yourself shot. <laughs> All right, boss. See you soon. What? God damn it, I paid that fucker last week! Ah, what the? Hello, Mr. Wildcard. How did you get in here? What? Are you really going to complain while a beautiful woman is lying in your bed? First off, that's not my bed. I sleep in the king's quarters, baby. This is just... my office. And, uh, second, if it's dick you're after, you're not getting it. So be gone, Thought, before I call Boss Man back over here. Ah! Oh, please. Do you really think that oaf would do anything to me? Fair point. Then how about I get my crowbar and bash your brains in myself? Ooh, damn boy. Don't threaten me with a good time. I come in peace. Well, depending on if you're willing to give me what I want. And what might that be? Cross and I. We've been playing this game for God knows how long. Crushing the bodies and spirits of anyone who dares stand in our way. And my, oh my, has it been fun. But as much as I love him, Cross has lost his focus. The chase for gold. It's a dance that he and I have indulged in for over a year. But for someone like me, the titles have never been what drives me. If championships don't matter to you, why the hell are you even in this business? It's chaos, wildcard. Pure, unfeeling, delicious chaos. And Cross is the embodiment of it. No one in the SWE roster stood a chance against what he is. What I molded him into. That is, of course, until Mox shut all this shit down, huh? <laughs> no. Moxley was never a true challenge. Sure, he escaped Cross on a couple of occasions, but when it really came to it, he fell every time like everyone else. Huh, <laughs> sure. But I'll be the first to say this. Moxley did open my eyes to the true issue. With no one to match him blow for blow, Cross has become weaker. The killer instinct I fell in love with is dwindling by the day. He hasn't been pushed to the edge. And for a long time, no man has done that for him. Until I saw him. Who? Bane. The man who you fear most in this world. Hey! I ain't scared of that brace face! Oh, who are you trying to impress? It's just me here. Besides, I don't blame you. When he stepped into the ring with Cross and I, his aura was... captivating. Such strength. Such presence. He's... perfect. Jeez. Maybe you should stop by his place instead. Oh, don't you see? I need him. Cross needs him. While you were carried off in fear by her stooge, Bane was in the ring, eye to eye with the embodiment of chaos. And he stared him down like he was his prey. I've searched long and hard for the man who would finally push Cross over the edge. Forcing the killer to rise once again. I saw him. In the cards. And now fate has manifested him in front of us. So, you want your man to go one-on-one -on -one with old Marblemouth, huh? I don't know. What would be in it for me? I know how much you want Bane gone. And even after those awful things you said about me... I think I'd be willing to forgive and help you. You give us Bane, and Cross will release his hold on your psyche. Once and for all. Or, do you want to hide out in another man's house for the rest of your life? 
All right. You twisted my arm. You got your match. Now get out! Oh no. Not so fast. It's not just Bane I want. He's just the first test. I want that championship ripped from his carcass and wrapped around Cross's waist once it's over. Wait. You want the NXT Championship on the line. If Cross wins, that would mean both of you would... Work for you? Indeed. You want to jump ship? There is nothing for us in SWE anymore. But FAW is full of magnificent titans. Who would serve our goal well? And with that NXT title, Cross will no doubt bring awe-inspiring destruction to all of them. Doesn't that sound fun? You know, the funny thing is, I know you're playing me. But you're right, that does sound like money. Of course I'm right. So, do we have a deal, Mr. Wildcard? Yes, we do. <laughs> Good. I knew you'd see things my way. You're one hell of a negotiator, doll. Oh, I am much more than that. You'll see in time. Oh, and one more thing. Boss, we'll get rid of Bane. But he's not the only one you should fear. Is that some kind of threat? No. A hint. <laughs> Hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Ah! Mr. Wildcard, I had a nightmare. Can I sleep in there with you, please? Ugh. opponent similar to Kenny who actually was the former SWE world champion before Killer Cross took his title choked him out but now Buddy Murphy has the opportunity to change things around for his career and his future can he beat an established veteran of SWE like Seth Rollins here tonight these two are holding something back as they trade elbows of plenty onto the chin and jaws through each other's bodies. Now Rollins brings the kneecap onto the nose of Buddy Murphy, similar to how he injured John Cena all those years ago. And now here comes the Irish whip. Wait, reversed by Buddy Murphy. And Rollins off the rope. Underneath the leapfrog attempt there by Buddy Murphy. Oh, once again, Seth Rollins rolls on through into the super kick right to the jaw. And now Buddy Murphy is looking to cap things off with this huge power bomb. But Rollins able to reverse it with the Rana. Murphy's in trouble. Into the corner. An elbow there by Seth Rollins. And now look at this. We all know what's happening now. Seth Rollins thinks it's about time to hit the super flick from the top of Buddy Murphy. He's not going to let that happen. He's read a rot in hell. Elbows are playing to the back of the neck. And what to the face. Seth Rollins crashing down to the floor. But that's not going to stop the architect from bringing it on home with this super flick from the top. Oh my God, the impact was sickening. But wait, my victory with the brain buster. Brain buster. Right to the top of the head. It could be over. Able to get the shoulder up just in the nick of time. But he can't believe it, and he's looking to make sure Rollins doesn't get up again with that huge pump kick. Rollins is stunned, but now Buddy Murphy. Oh, look at this. You've seen this before. Yes, indeed. Quartz Wrath, just like he did the Velveteen Dream. Oh, Green didn't do that. Oh, 
Gargano oh. reverse Rana. And now Seth Rollins follows oh. it up with the super kick of the century. Right to the mush of Buddy Murphy. Sends him back into the outside. Murphy is finished. Here it comes. Here comes Rollins. Oh, wait a minute. Buddy Murphy beats him. Oh. from the list of individuals to beat before his final clash against Kenny Omega at Christmas Chaos. Buddy looks as disappointed as ever. He can't fault him. Hold out the hell of the show. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're going for commercial break here. This is what you wanted, right? What the fuck? Oh my god! Is that who I think it is? It is! Well, sound the trumpets because G-Man is back home! G-Man is here tonight live! I can't believe it! The prodigal son has returned! Oh, score! And he won score! You said you wanted me here, right? Well, here I am! Talking via satellite since Bloodsport. There's the difference between people like you and me. You like to talk about it. I do it. So now I think the time for talking is done. You got your boys following me around everywhere I go, playing cat and mouse. You want to play games on some kid shit? I got a game for you. It's called Get Your Fat Ass Out Here so I can shove that contract down your throat. Come on! No further explanation needed. They want it. I want it. He ain't trying to wait, Holmes. He wants to do this now. Exactly. And there's no other better time to do it than here right now. Wait, what? Paul Heyman answering the call to all. So, if you wanted to speak to management, all you had to do was... Carl, if I don't see Scar in the next 10 seconds, I'm coming up there and putting your head through that fucking screen! He is not fucking around. You better give him what he wants. Scar is not here! He's still in New York, along with LAX! Damn, what a pussy. Oh, right, some fucking thug. Why am I not... Surprise. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Listen, G-Man, I'm loving your passion, and I understand your anger. But we have to do this in a timely, and more importantly, orderly manner. You're not getting Scar tonight, or that contract. The card is already stacked as it is, but I have an even better idea. In the next episode, I'm thinking that the main event will be you and Scar coming face to face in a live contract signing for your match at Christmas Chaos. Oh my god, what an insane event that would be. If he's there, I'm there. Oh my god, I don't think that's that enough. There's not enough security in the world that's gonna keep G-Man from ripping Star a new one, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, Murphy. Could I have a word? I just wanted to get your reaction to losing to Seth Rollins on your first match back on FAW. I mean, it must be tough. You know, because last time you competed, you lost to the Velveteen Dream after going through a grueling tournament just to get the chance at earning your first championship. It's like you can't catch a break. How are you feeling right now? Oh! Jay, sorry! Didn't know Aussies were so touchy. Hello? 
Uh, oh, Mr. McMahon? Hi, uh, wait. How'd you get my number? Damn, the girl was only doing her job, buddy. But hey, I can't really blame you. I'd be pissed too, man. You've been doing a lot of losing lately, haven't you? Not just an FAW either. You used to be something, man. SWE champion, superstar of the year in 2020. You even led your own version of our club. But now look at you. Dream embarrassed you. Cross took your spot at the top. And now the whole world's forgotten about you. But maybe not for long. You're way too damn good to be where you are right now. And perhaps we can help change that. Don't you think it's about time you start winning again? Think about it. between Daniel Bryan and Drew McIntyre is here. She's about to go down. This has been building up since the first episode of FAW SWE. After Daniel Bryan defeated longtime veteran and former FAW Universal Champion Austin Aries, Drew McIntyre stuck in from behind and Claymore kicked the shit out of the bearded face of Daniel Bryan. Since then, he's been talking all that shit about how Brian is just a little boy in a man's world. And with that symbolic Claymore sword in his hand, he's looking to do exactly what he promised, and that is slay the American Dragon. Drew McIntyre, ever since he lost to Kenny Omega, he's been wanting fresh meat, he's been wanting new challenges, and he's been seeing and hearing about the raving of Daniel Bryan after he beat Loki at SWE Bloodsport. And now, he's impatiently waiting for the arrival of pro wrestling Jesus. This is exactly what he wanted all along. Contest is your main event of the evening. Introducing first, Air Scotland. He is the Scottish psychopath, the chosen one, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent, from Aberdeen, Washington. He is the SWE Next Level Champion. He is. Pro Wrestling Jesus, the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan! The electricity in this crowd knows no limits as they are all ready to see what's going to happen when it's fight or flight. The time for talking is over between these two. Now, neither of them can escape this fate. Now, Drew has this vicious bear hug applied to Daniel Bryan. He can't go anywhere as he gets shoved into the Corner. Now McIntyre putting the punishment onto Daniel Bryan with those vicious shoulder thrusts to the abdomen. And just like that, Bryan's momentum is cut in half. <laughs> and McIntyre just laughs. Come on, man, Bryan. 
Did you leave your balls in the UK? I'm not a psychopath. There's no stranger to trash talking. Fight me, Daniel. You're letting your fans down. You're letting Bree down. Bella, the wife of Brian probably is watching in horror as McIntyre has his way. Fight back! Imploring Brian to fight back, but I don't think he can. Oh wait, Brian! Proving me wrong with that elbow right to the launch! Can he capitalize? With the kick to put into the chest! The crowd goes a shit along with Brian as he's driven up! Those yes kicks! Come on! Give it to me! Now 
McIntyre. Looking to end things. Daniel Bryan. He's, wait. Oh, he's counting it down. He played more. What's going on with Drew? chance against the innovative oh. Daniel Bryan just didn't have the energy to keep his body up. <laughs> and Drew McIntyre loves every second of it. Now these people, I, I think Drew McIntyre. Here's your dragon, everybody. Drew McIntyre just rubbing salt in the wounds of all of these people's hopes and dreams for Daniel Bryan. Look at me, you goat-faced bitch! You don't belong here, in this ring, with me. You don't even deserve to be alive! You don't have to worry about Janela or Christmas chaos anymore. Because I'm gonna finish it, here and now! Come here! Heard him, Drew McIntyre's looking to finish this once and for all. Here comes the future shot, DDT, but oh, Brian! Able to escape! And Brian has the sleeper hold of Brian! Brian has the soul of a dragon deep inside of his body, and he's choking the soul out of Drew McIntyre! The Scottish psychopath has been compromised here! Oh my god, these elbows! Oh, damn. These elbows onto the jaw and neck of Drew McIntyre are able to neutralize his offense here! Oh my god! mentioned his wife in this battle here. Let's do it this way. And now, Brian is making McIntyre pay with these vicious elbows out of back of the day. Oh, Jesus. This is getting hot to watch, ladies and gentlemen. And now after he softened them up, he has the arms of Drew McIntyre locked in. And we know what's happening here. Cattle mutilation. Cattle mutilation. He's gonna tap hold. He has to. Every man has their pain threshold. Every man has their limit. And I think even the Scottish psychopath has to have his limits. But even then, he's losing all his strength to get to the road. No! Now the referee has to force the break after all of that, all of the effort that Daniel Bryan has put into making Drew McIntyre submit. McIntyre still has plenty of fight in droves. Now Brian is trying to show a bit of frustration here as he's stomping a mud hole into the face and back of the neck of Drew McIntyre. Excuse me, this has just been such a brutal matchup that I can't even think straight. Do you want the The ref tried to check on Drew McIntyre, tried to see if he still wanted to continue, and McIntyre said yes! Oh, how long could that be? <laughs> he's laughing! That's all he's you asking Brian if that's all he's got! Because Drew McIntyre still has enough fight left for everybody in this arena! But Drew McIntyre gets the kick right off the top of the head! Just right back with that thing! Just like that, I think Daniel Bryan has been shook up! And now Drew McIntyre running the ropes looking for the claymore, but he gets the drop kick! Drew McIntyre 
Drew McIntyre is out. One, two more, and it's over. Drew McIntyre hasn't budged since those elbows. Daniel Bryan has did it. He's done the impossible. No, no. Drew McIntyre is still alive. The chosen one is still in this fight. Lifting him up for one more power bomb. But Bryan able to reverse run. Oh, no, no, gets caught. Gets caught. Oh, reverse oh, 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 oh. Alabama by Drew McIntyre. And just like that, the momentum has shifted to the Scottish psychopath side. And now, holding Daniel Bryan up for the future shock. But what a counter. Oh, but Drew McIntyre just doesn't give a shit. He's just going to pound away until there's nothing left of the dragon. Oh, but once again, Bryan escapes again. And now, trying to go for the landslide pin. The same thing he's done to Austin Aries. But Drew McIntyre just too strong. Daniel Bryan. Get on his feet, puts it to the drop, oh. take it to the corner. How much more punishment can these men take? Iris whip it to the corner, counted by Drew McIntyre. This is a superior strength. I'm with the backflip off the corner. Oh, I'm on it. By Drew McIntyre. It's over. He says all it takes is one. This is a no. Brian able to get the shoulder up just in the nick of time. Proving Drew McIntyre wrong. Get out of my swamp, Brian. <laughs>